retired Justice Paul Anderson, uh, when we last talked, we uh, mentioned the Legislative Office Building. Yes, and, and I told you that that's a topic for a whole other segment. Okay, here we are. Uh, why is a new Legislative Office Building needed? Uh, well, it's been talked about since at least the 1970s. Uh, and it's needed now during the restoration, so the restoration of the Capitol uh, can be done in a way that it fulfills the vision of uh, Cass Gilbert. Just like in the state of Wyoming, where they're uh, remodeling their capital, you lose space for public gathering spaces, elevators, restrooms, and so we lose space in the capital. So there's no question we need alternative space, not only during the, uh, the restoration, but long term. Was the design of the, of the new legislative office building a bipartisan effort? Well, the legislative office building had to be built in time so it could save money during the uh, uh, restoration of the Capitol. By the way, the legislative office building is probably the most financially efficient means by which to complete the Capitol restoration. Not only, I mean, you would spend millions of dollars in alternative space that would be lost in the long term. And so we have this building available for the restoration. But you add in that building, and this is key, this is key, uh, con uh, meeting rooms for the public, accessible meeting rooms for the public. And so it's, it's a legacy building. But yes, oh, I, I chaired the uh, Design Build Commission, and there were seven of us, and it was bipartisan, representation by both the House and the Senate, a minority and uh, majority. So the group that chose the Mortensen, who's doing the building, was bipartisan. And by the way, we had good input from, that was a marvelous committee. I loved it. How, how does the new legislative office building uh, make government more open to the people, more transparent? Well, uh, both Democrats and Republicans understand that the people are wanting to hold them more accountable. I would even say that some of the Tea Party and the Republicans are even more demanding in some way that they have access to their representatives. This will provide access to their representatives. should be easy. I hope that uh, they ultimately provide the adequate parking there. That was put aside. But it will provide meeting rooms, increase capacity for large meetings, accessible. But there's another thing about this building. It's called consilience. Steve Jobs, when he first left uh, Apple, bought Pixar, a company that was failing from, uh, uh, I think it was uh, George Lucas. And they bought an old Del Monte site that had a place for the administration, the creative people, and the technical people. And Steve Jobs says, no, that's not the way I want it. I want it to be efficient. And so we brought them all together so that they would interact with each other. In this building, all the senators are going to be Democrats, Republicans, Independents, whatever, in the same building. And it's designed so they have to interact. The elevators they have to share, the parking they have to share. This building in the long term will make government more efficient for the state of Minnesota, while at the same time saving money during the restoration of the capital. From a building trades point of view, uh, what, what kind of impact is there uh, on, this on this legislative office building project? Oh, uh, I mean, the answer to that is simple. We're employing good Minnesotans in the construction of a legacy project that when they come back, oh, this is so important, the guys that are working on this building, when they retire, and their ch grandchildren ask them, you know, Grandma, Grandpa, what did you do to make things better in Minnesota? And they can say, well, let me take you up to the state capitol. And then they'll go up and the uh, lawn in front of that building, they go in the building, here is part of my legacy. I helped make government work more efficiently for you in the state of Minnesota. I worked on this building. I made sure it was built right. 
finally, you know, are there critics to this to this whole to this whole project? Oh, critics! Oh, this is that another segment? That's probably another segment. I mean, I mean, I mean, I, I, I just don't like the some of the hypocrisy and the myopic point of view that's being expressed on this whole project. Thank you, retired Justice Paul H. E. Anderson.